hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you me and street food and market so you're welcome yes so i'm called hilda's world you're welcome this is my compound chicken around yes this is how the place looks uh this is how the environment looks so you're welcome to my channel please subscribe if you enjoy and watch until the end yep this is a hen hatching chicks <laughs> yes so this is how we put it in a box yeah in a box so that you can keep the legs warm and eggs oh this is chicken food eggs that is a mortar charcoal in the white peel food for chicken in the blue peel yes sweet potatoes yeah those are sweet potatoes jerry can i have a pot african pot and there's water inside yes there is water inside there as you see that is water okay so this is how my store looks and uh, yeah lifestyle goes that is an african fridge and that's how it is ordered so i went to the streets to look for chikomando chikomando is chapati and beans so here in uganda we call it chikomando yeah so i wanted to interview this trader yeah hustler trader yeah but i didn't get a chance because he was so busy yep so you're welcome to the channel ah oh, this is how you commando so you slice the chapati put it on a plate then put beans there hot soup yep hot soup for bees if you call it peas it's okay but we call it beans here in uganda we mostly eat eat uh, these red beans yeah red beans so if you <laughs> If you need Jamaicans, I know they like black beans, but for us, we like red beans uh, more than black beans. Yes. So, this is how life is here. So, enjoy the video. Subscribe and comment. Okay. So, guys, chapati is made like this guy is doing, this trader. So, you put oil on your pan then you put on top as you see so it has to change to golden brown then you change it you overturn it okay so this guy is cutting ch chikomando this is how chapatis look yeah golden brown then it will tell you it is a sign that is ready mm. so you're welcome you are welcome welcome so this is how life is here. So this street food is served in this way. Slice your chapati in any form, shape you want. Then pour soup for beans as he's doing. So it is very, very common here. Especially near institutions is where you find chikomando. So... If they find a place like in an institution like this one and you find that um, uh, you find that uh, your chapatis are not doing well, you have to put their beans. So beans sell the chapati if you don't know that. So that's how it is made. So this is how chapati is made. is rolled and put on a flying pan. Then put cooking oil after if you don't want cooking oil it is okay they can also make for you yep so that is how it is done like this young man is doing yes mm, put it in the flour put it back roll it roll on it any shape you want but it has to be round <laughs> yeah then yep that is it this chapati making job you see it as it is easy 
But I won't tell you the truth. You stand a whole day and the job is not simple as you think. So, welcome back. I'm here. I'm going to each commando. So, my each commando is going to be served very soon. Yep. So, this is the place how it looks. I'm behind. That's how it looks. Yep. Yeah. That is it. So, watch until the end subscribe comment and like the video you're welcome to my youtube channel you're welcome i love you so much for always supporting me around so that's how our plus looks and i'm going to eat from there today my breakfast yes breakfast on street so behind me plates have to be washed mm. And in the saucepan, there are beans there. <laughs> yeah, there are beans there. And... Whew. So guys, tell me what you think about my street food today. Yes, chikomando or chapati. So I'm going to buy these ones. They cut for me and I put beans there. So that is it. So comment down below what you think about our street food. I know you watch many videos about African vlogs. So tell me what you think about my food today. My street food today. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> that is it. That is it. Uh, this is part of us now. Chapati was introduced by Indians. Um... Yeah, Indians and Arabs here in East Africa. And that's how Swahili people introduced this chapati mold. This is how our chapati is being cut, but I bought a very small one. <laughs> For 500, that is 5 cents. Yeah. So, that is it. So, you mix the beans, then you put water there. Hey, soap. <laughs> You put soup there. Yeah. That is, so this is how our chikomando looks at the end of the day. That is it. So I'm here eating chikomando. So guys, come and we enjoy chikomando. That's how it is looking. <laughs> So I'm here enjoying chikomando chapati, my street food, and I'm eating breakfast on street. Mm, African breakfast on streets. Yep. So let's enjoy this chapati. Guys, this food is so yummy. Oh, try it at home. Make chapatis and beans. So, on that day, I went to the market in the evening. And this is in the afternoon. This is how it is looking. People sell everything on market day. Hey, on market day, beds, everything you want at home. You buy it in the market. Yeah, this is how the market. I'm, on, I'm in the market now. And this is how the market is looking. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to buy a bed. <laughs> yeah, but uh, everything is like that. So we were bargaining, bargaining, bargaining on the price of the bed. Mm. And uh, the bed is really expensive for me. So since I didn't, yeah. So when the night came, this is how we make our water cold at night. You spray it on a, a, a tray like this one so that you can get cold water at night. This place is hot. Yeah. It is somehow hot. Yeah. But we put like that our water on a tray at night. Yeah. <laughs> that is it. African fridge. <laughs> So I'm making my water to go to become cold then I drink it because it is really warm mm. so this is how we do it so you spray it out and um, 
yeah you wait for it for some time then you cool this is african real life this is real here so as you see that is it how we do it tell me how how do you cool your water in a fridge or like me <laughs> Or the African way in African fridge or you spray it out yes like I've done here okay yep guys thank you so much for watching please thank you. I sub appreciate your support a lot yeah so thank you so much for supporting me for being there for me yeah that is it that is it mm. so future dreams buying anything that is that brings more money so after two so i'm sweeping and this is african it is of an african younger woman at um evening time so mostly what we do is sweep our compounds during evening time to avoid in case of a snake comes you're easy to so to see that uh, the snake has come so i'm going to sweep here i've been sweeping behind like this as you see yes so don't worry <sighs> So guys, thank you so much for watching. Yes, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like the video. You can send it to share it. Yeah. So 
I'm glad I'm so also feeling hungry <laughs> so thank you so much for watching next video I'm going to do a video about um, evening duties of an African of an African young young woman or young girl or African duties of a woman at home in the evening it doesn't matter your age yet yeah, doesn't matter your age or what their are duties you do as you as you whether you are three years four years you know, that's how we are trained here you start from there okay so that is it okay thank you for watching subscribe please bye